Let's take a look at the structure, design, and philosophy of Connections to see why it's the most innovative, practical, and flexible resource in this adoption. The power of Connections lies in the integration of a revolutionary, research-based, close reading model that is designed to maximize student engagement while equipping them with the reading, writing, and communication skills they need to be college and career ready. Our authors and editors synthesized and distilled all the latest literacy research into a five-phase close reading model that scaffolds the skill acquisition and incorporates writing, speaking, listening, and thinking just as the new teachers require. Connections takes a rich, layered text chosen not just for its quantitative level but also its qualitative complexity and applies the new close reading model so that students are drawn deeper and deeper into a text and given multiple opportunities to read it. Each of the three close reads is used to work on a different teaks-based skill and typically goes from the what, the surface level meaning of the text, to the how, the author's craft, and finally to the why, the deeper meaning of the text or the author's purpose. While you can absolutely use Connections as a single, comprehensive resource, we know that very few teachers use a textbook or basal resource from page 1 to page 400. So Connections is designed in such a way that it can be used modularly, and you can pull out the components of any chapter to be used as standalone lessons. Comprehensive yet flexible to adapt to any district's curriculum. Synthesized from a wide array of research, our concrete, skill-focused, close reading model is really what sets Connections apart. It consists of five phases. Establish purpose. We give the students a skill-focused objective before diving into the text, something to look for and annotate. Then we develop questions. From the objective, we develop both student and teacher-led text-based questions to determine what sorts of literary elements we are reading for in the piece. Next, we gather evidence. We then read the text and use critical thinking to identify the textual evidence that relates to our objective and questions. The students document this evidence through annotation and notes in the My Thoughts column. Students then organize, analyze, and evaluate their collected documentary evidence and execute a skill activity using that evidence. And lastly, students share their thoughts and ideas on what they've found in the text with others through writing, speaking, and listening activities. While these five phases aren't labeled as such in the student book, they underpin and scaffold the lesson design and allow students to acquire new skills faster and faster as they progress through the year. In fact, our goal is that your students no longer need connections by the end of the year, but are fully equipped to tackle complex texts on their own. Let's take a look at a chapter in connections to see the innovative lesson structure and the embedded five-phase close reading model in action in each of the close reads. If you have a sample of the book in front of you or can log in to view the digital samples, find the beginning of any chapter, as they're all structured the same, and turn one page until you see the graphic that says First Read. First, we establish purpose by giving the students a concrete objective, something to look for and annotate as they read. In the first read of Chapter 1 in the 6th grade student book, we invite students to read a selection from Bud Not Buddy and to underline words and phrases that can help us make inferences about the setting, the situation, and the relationship between the two main characters. Secondly, given the skill objective, the students develop questions about the text and identify what sorts of things we'll be looking for in the piece in order to focus the reading on a skill. Next, we gather evidence by actually reading the piece and annotate the items that we're looking for from steps one and two. Note that in this example, as per the objective in step one, we have underlined the parts of the passage that might help us understand the setting and the relationship of the characters. We then take our gathered textual evidence and analyze and evaluate it in a focus on skill activity. In this close read, we ask students to take the textual evidence they gathered in the read and make inferences about the setting and the characters' relationships by bringing in experiences and knowledge from their own life. Lastly, the students respond and share by either speaking and listening or writing while citing textual evidence to support their conclusions. Being able to communicate about their ideas and conclusions is key to ensuring that the skill is fully acquired and can lead to rich classroom discussions about the text and the students' own thoughts and experiences. After the close read is completed, Connections then offers two more opportunities to dive back into the text, in part or in whole, to work on a different reading skill and to help students unlock deeper meaning. Having a chance to read a complex text multiple times is good for all students, but especially crucial for our ELL population and students reading below grade level. You as the teacher can decide to select only one or two of the close reads or to do all three for maximum benefit. 
Now that we've looked at the close reading model, let's take a look at all of the components in a chapter in Connections. Every chapter has the same, consistent format that becomes familiar to the student as they progress through the book. Each chapter opens with previewing ideas and making connections. We want to discuss the concepts and ideas in the passage to come and connect these ideas to the student's own life and experience. The goal is to get their brains thinking in the right direction before we commence reading the selection. We also give students goals for the chapter and touch on the academic vocabulary that they will encounter. Once the students are intellectually and emotionally invested, we launch into the heart of the chapter, the close reads, focus on skill exercises, and the speaking and listening discussions. Note that while these close reads and focus on lessons work best in order, they are in most cases modular and can be done in any order that you see fit as the teacher. Grammar is typically an area of struggle for many students. Immediately following the close reads and focus on skill exercises, Connections then provides a language lesson that examines a specific aspect of grammar within the chapter's passage. Grammar in context and integrated into the reading. Again, just like the new teach require. Following the language lesson, we provide two project-based assessments. These student-directed assessments allow more advanced students to go even further in their understanding of the skill and content and even higher up on Bloom's taxonomy as they synthesize and create a project of some kind. This allows the teacher time to circle back with any struggling students while the high flyers follow the clear instructions in order to complete the project in pairs or groups. Following the project-based assessments, each chapter in Connections offers optional on-your-own extension activities to take their interest in a chapter's given passage to a whole new level. Many of the on-your-own activities point students to other texts and novels that are thematically connected to the chapter selection. Lastly, while we never want to teach to the STAR test, it is a concern and the metric by which our campuses and districts are measured. To make sure we equip students with the skills they need to perform their best on the STAR test, we finish out a chapter with Connect to Testing. If this chapter's passage was a selection on the STAR test, what might the questions look like? What would the student be expected to do with the text? Please note here that TEA has not released any information about the format and nature of the new test, but as soon as that information is available, we will be revising the online connected testing. Also, in the coming years, we will be continually aligning and reworking our STAR prep materials after tests are released. Now that we've seen the different parts of a chapter and the intentional and consistent instructional design, let's look at the macro structure of connections. Connections has four units, and each of these units has an essential question with five chapters. All of the selections in the five chapters tie back to the essential question and give differing perspectives on it. Pursuant to the New Teak's multi-genre requirement, the selections chosen for Connections represent a blend of fiction and informational texts in a variety of genres. Each selection was evaluated with a three-part model for measuring text complexity, as well as its literary and historical significance. Following the five chapters in a unit, there's a full essay writing process using the theme and passages in a given unit. This is just another example of the truly integrated nature of Connections and how its design matches the spirit of the new teaks. Please note that there are other essay writing opportunities in the supporting material that comes free with our adoption package. The final piece in a Connections unit, and perhaps my favorite, is the practice performance task. Students reread small portions of the passages that they've encountered in the unit's five chapters in order to revisit the ideas as they relate to the essential question. Then, the students are prompted to write a short essay synthesizing the different perspectives in the passages and using their critical thinking skills actually answer the essential question for themselves. All the reading, writing, speaking, listening, and thinking that the student has done over the course of a unit culminates in the student analyzing, synthesizing, and forming an opinion of their own about the essential question. One last note on connections, it genuinely builds towards college and career readiness. If a student can read a passage deeply and extract layers of meaning, if they can transfer their reading skills to any text in multiple genres, if they can think critically and have the soft skills to discuss their ideas, if they can internalize the writing process and cogently express their ideas in written form, would they not then be college, career, and life ready? Connections, a truly powerful and integrated approach that meets not only the quantitative measure of the new teaks, but also their integrated spirit. Comprehensive enough to be a full curriculum, and yet flexible enough to support multiple curricular approaches. 
Connections makes the transition to the new Teaks simple, easy, and effective. And thus, living up to Perfection Learning's mission to have successful students and happy teachers.